Hello YouTube, this is uh, Captain Nav. I hope you are all doing well. I've been asked a few times uh, recently uh, how to uh, update the navigation database in the uh, PMDG777 and also in the other uh, PMDG aircraft actually. So we are here in the Boeing uh, 777 uh, looking at uh, the FMC and uh, once we uh, start activating the FMC if your navigation database is not in date uh, you will get this uh, nav data out of date uh, message as you can see on, on the screen so looking uh, further up the uh, IDEN page you can see uh, the ARAC is uh, 1701 and uh, active from January the 5th to February the 1st uh, the uh, video is made after February the 1st so that's uh, that's why we get the nav data out of date uh, message the navigation uh, database is updated uh, every uh, 28 days in line with the real world uh, ARAC uh, updates. As you can see, uh, once you clear the nav data out of date uh, message and you uh, relaunch the FMC, then the, the message no longer appears. But uh, if you want to uh, update your uh, navigation database, there's not a lot of options. The main option is really to get a Navigraph uh, subscription. There's uh, various uh, options various uh, prices and uh, then uh, what I use is the um, uh, data manager uh, so on the uh, Navigraph uh, website we go to uh, products and then uh, data manager here and uh, download the data manager. The data manager is uh, some sort of application that allows you to update all the navigation uh, databases in the various uh, applications you have in uh, uh, Flight Simulator so here is the data manager in the top right corner you have the current uh, ARAC cycle which is uh, 1702 and uh, in the middle of the uh, screen you can see all the uh, uh, applications and various software associated with uh, Flight Simulator uh, which are listed uh, here. So to uh, update all the databases for all these uh, software all you have to do is uh, tick and uh, select all of them and uh, click update up here otherwise as you can see you can uh, also hit the uh, down arrow here otherwise uh, you can uh, also uh, do a backup uh, by pressing this button or otherwise restore to the previous uh, version so to update the various navigation databases we'll press the uh, update button and uh, you can see here in the progress uh, window that uh, the update has uh, launched it's uh, much quicker to uh, do it this way, I think, because uh, you uh, download uh, the databases and then install them uh, directly through the Navigraph uh, Data Manager. You don't have to uh, first download the databases and then uh, locate the various folders and install the databases and the folders. Everything is done automatically, so it saves a lot of time and uh, difficulties as well. So the uh, database here is uh, downloaded, now it's uh, doing a backup as you can see uh, down here and uh, once the backup is done then the uh, navigation database will be uh, installed for Active Sky. So I'll uh, stop the video while the backup is in progress and uh, we'll come back once the backup is finished and the database is ready to be installed. So as you can see now we are almost finished with the backup and uh, once the backup is done as I said then the um, uh, database will be uh, ready to uh, be installed. So here is uh, the uh, database is now being installed. It's a fairly uh, quick uh, process as you can see uh, in the progress bar and once the uh, database is installed the amber thumbnail with the old uh, database uh, reference turns green and now the uh, database uh, reference 1702 uh, matches uh, with the uh, current uh, ARAC cycle. And then the same process uh, starts again for the next uh, add-on and we'll finish once all the add-ons have been uh, updated. So now we'll assume that the whole uh, update process has taken place through the data manager and uh, launch the uh, FMC and you can see on the IDEN page we have the correct uh, ARAC cycle 1702 and uh, the correct uh, dates. And that's uh, pretty much it, then you're good to go. 
So I hope you uh, found the video useful and informative. If you did, please uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll uh, see you soon.